Well, it's the Mars Bar Challenge today, ladies and gentlemen. For those at home, uh, you'll have to buy your own Mars Bars or taste them virtually. Uh, but here, we're able to taste them in person. But before we do that, I'm going to do Titus in two minutes. Our sermons have been brought to us by various letters of the alphabet. Today, it's the letter T. But here is Titus in two minutes for all of us. Please don't remember this when we get to the sermon, okay? Because it'll be slightly longer than two minutes. So we've been looking at a book called Titus, and Titus is a letter. Titus was written by a bloke called Paul to a mate called Titus, funnily enough. And Paul has a mission and a message. The mission is to tell people about Jesus so that they show God. And the message is that Jesus Christ lived, died and rose for our sins according to the scriptures. The next sermon was brought to us by the letter C because Titus had a job to do, to appoint elders in Crete who had character that had proven capacity in their own homes. Their job was to shoot the wolves and feed the sheep. False teachers were trying to overthrow the households and they had to be opposed. In fact, that sermon was brought to you by the letter D, wasn't it? Where we heard about sound teaching, our deeds and doctrine going hand in hand to display the one we hold dear. Because God's grace has appeared in the past, it changes our present as we wait for the future. And as we wait for the future, as we heard last week, we live by grace the same way God has treated us. That's Titus in two minutes. But we've also got a memory verse, and that's our memory verse. Look at it, memorise it. No, you can't look at it anymore. So we've been trying to learn our memory verse, Titus 2, 11 to 14. Here's the opportunity for anyone here who has stored God's word in their head and their heart to come and share it with us. I'm so thankful Ben used Psalm 119 because we're walking in a world that's dark and you always need the torch, don't you? And if you've got God's word stored in your head and your heart, you've always got light, haven't you? And so we've been working on Titus 2, 11 to 14. Now, I know the Gabbards have learned it a little bit. Does anyone else want to come up the front and share the memory verse with us and take some Mars bars off my hands? I've got 80 Mars bars. I've got to get rid of them. I've got high hopes. Does anyone else want to come up? I know Sarah Stiller has been humming it around the house to the tune of Amazing Grace. Is that right, Sarah? Ben's nodding. He said, Sarah, come up, come up, come up. You've been dobbed in by your parents, so you need to come up. Gabbets, do any Gabbets want to come up? Baxter wants to come up. Elsa wants to come up. And others, anyone else want to come up? Anyone else remember the... Adults can do it too because Mars bars are for every age group, like God's Word. Anyone else? Anyone else? Drinda, it's God's word, so if it's in the NIV, come up. I've memorised that as well because I was covering my bases. <laughs> I haven't memorised the King James, okay? I haven't worked on that one. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'd love to get each of these people to do it individually, but the sermon's longer than two minutes, and so I'd like them to all do it together. But you need to all turn to Titus 2, 11 to 14 in your Bibles, please. Titus 2, 11 to 14. I don't know the page number. Someone got a page number for me they can yell out. What was that, Ali? 1058, page 1058. All right, are we all ready to give it a go? Drink. What was that? NIV as well. So why don't we do Drinda and Sarah together? We've got the Drinda and Sarah NIV mob and we've got the Gabbard Holman mob, okay? No, no, you're not going to sing it to Amazing Grace. Drink this one. Won't hear. Do, we, do we want a microphone? No. We don't want a microphone. We're going to start here, move our way over. Go for it, Drinda and Sarah. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait, While we wait for the, the blessed, blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God <laughs> and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, to redeem us from all wickedness, 
and to purify us for himself. For himself. A people, people that are very own, eager to do what is good. Yay! Well done. Give us, a, give us an elbow. Give us an elbow. Well done. Well done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this wasn't even planned, but that was also a living, active example of Titus 2, wasn't it? Older women, younger women working together. Okay, I, I'm so thankful for that. Well done. Well done. I'll get you your Mars bars in a second. Gabbets, back so you, you can walk, stand with the rest of the Gabbets. It's okay. All right, Gabbets, Seth, you can stand with the rest of the Gabbets. It's okay. All right, Gabbets, take it away. For the grace of God has appeared with salvation for all people instructing us to deny godlessness and worldly lusts and to live in a sensible, righteous and godly way in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a special people eager to do good works. Hey, well done, Gabbard. Good job. Good job. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, not all memory verses are going to be that long, but let me encourage you, storing God's word in your heart and mind means that you've got something sweeter than honey, sweeter than Mars bars, with you every day. It means that when you don't have God's word in your hands, it is still with you. And so let me encourage you with the memory verses, and we'll have a new one next week with our Advent series. Learn them, store them away so that you've got them with you all the time. How about we show our appreciation for their encouragement? Done. Done. Beautiful.